so I've just decided to do a personal Zoom for me. And it's to reflect on various things. Now, I've opened my diary and I think I want to make a few notes because I've just come off a call from Anne, with Anne Schaffner. And she's wondering what's happening because there seem to be a lot of things going on and she's not getting any messages from any emails from anyone telling her what's going on. Well, I don't see any extra news and she's worried about the, the court case in Japan. I'm, yeah, maybe, maybe it's a similar thing. And I'm going through reflecting, analysing, what did I write yet last night? I think tomorrow I'll do a self-analysis psychology session. Daniela's back from holidays, but has deliveries at 7.30, so we'll meet on only on Thursday, not tomorrow. And I finally got my 5,000 steps last night before I went to bed, which boosted my confidence. I was quite in a bit of a, a low, knowing, yes, I haven't gone outside. I didn't go to the Toastmasters. Okay, the negative things that I did not go to the Toastmasters meeting. I did not go to the Lightworkers meeting. I felt like I needed time for myself. And this is fairly typical of things that I need to, that I feel like I need to take the time for myself. And when Anne asked me, how's your health? And I mentioned, oh, I've got a series of doctor's appointments, immediate interruption told me all about all of her doctor's appointments every day this week and her blood tests and her nuclear medicine and her diabetes and her cholesterol levels and then on and on and on about her health and then ask the question, how's your knee? And on the one hand, I don't want to focus on, I was going to say all my negativity. I don't feel like I'm all negative. But yes, my knees are sore. And yes, I've got a nuclear medicine appointment as well for my heart. So she's got a cyst on her thyroid apparently and she's going to nuclear medicine to examine the thyroid cyst. And I mentioned that my knee operations were over three years ago and they're still sore, but it would probably help if I went walking. And to be honest, I even considered going out early this morning and what I'm looking at, what I'm talking to myself for is to talk myself into this morning routine. Now, Hal Alrod talks about the, uh, what's the word? He, he's got a acronyms for his, um, he, his, well, I don't remember even what they are, but there's reading like meditation and prayer reflection and scri scribing, journaling, and uh, exercising movement. And there are a few, five things, a five-point plan, doing each thing 10 minutes to just start the day. So now it's 8.40, 8.49, and, and caught me when I was in the American bathroom <laughs> twice. And I, I I actually had the phone in my hand, so I was even tempted to answer. And I thought, no way, I'm not answering while I'm here or I'll, I'll never get out of here because I can't even flush. So, <laughs> so anyhow, what I'm wanting to do, because the biggest question is, what do I really want? And sure sometime soon the inheritance from the sale of the house will come through and funny in my mind it it seems like a pittance that it's okay it's going to be andy's warning me to make sure that you get some financial guidance and to invest it well and to plan well with what you want to do with it and yet we made a list together and I think, yeah, well, if I just take care of my teeth already, a quarter of it's gone. So I'd like to take care of my teeth and of my health and to have a good attitude. So it's obvious to me, the key is to have a good attitude anyhow, to do good anyhow, to know everything is all right. 
and to get to really keep that positive attitude so i'm not really interested in creating more and more digital clutter because even this recording that i'm making i'm doing it for myself i'm not planning to broadcast it anywhere and yet i know myself i tend to go through this vulnerability honesty full disclosure thing and just love to out myself expose myself in the conviction that it's not just me it's not just me that the fact that I can put my feelings into words and express what I'm going through is not even just my personal psychotherapy, my mental hygiene. It's also a service to others to help understand themselves, ourselves, to reflect on what do I need and how important it is to know my needs. And as Tony Robbins and Dean Graziosi and somebody else I was listening to yesterday really stressed the importance, the significance of writing it down, right? Writing down what you want making your lists and so okay i'm talking about it here and i have my diary open in front of me on the screen okay they talk about scribing by hand i tend to love the, the keyboard i tend to type much faster than i write and one thing that dean really stressed was to reread the notes it's already Wednesday. The Launchpad Live was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I stayed home instead of going to the VIC for the Toastmasters or to the Lightworkers in order to take the time for personal reflection. And then over lunch, watched a couple of Navy CIS and was interested as Joseph told me that he met with Godwin and that he considered it a very good talk. And yeah, I'm reflecting on a lot of stuff. I'm very grateful to be a mother of five sons to have a supportive husband, to have met the true parents, to have understood the divine principle. It's fascinating now when I see these self-development programs selling sales as the method of personal development. That's what we learned in fundraising. That's what we were talking about 40 years ago in the unification movement where the media again was hyping everything up to such a negative high that we got extreme persecution and was it the fault of the media that our movement didn't succeed, fulfill in those years? Joseph and I continue reading every morning from the scriptures of Reverend Moon's speeches and Mrs. Moon's speeches. And sure, we always question when was that said, where was it said, who was it said to? But we find essential truths in everything that we read from Reverend Moon. And he passed in 2012. Mrs. Moon had her knee operations around the same time I did shortly before me. I, but it was all top secret. 
we didn't hear about it until afterwards. I think I heard about, I don't know when I heard about it, but then I, I believe it must have been around March in 2020 that Mrs. Moon had her knee replacements, but she had both at once. I had mine in June or July. Now I haven't, I'm not even clear. And the second one in November. And that was in the middle of COVID. And many people, or it seemed that she was using that isolation period of the lockdown at the beginning of COVID, March 2020, to recover, to use the time that she needed for the initial recovery, though I wonder how she really is. These are the things we don't talk about. And so there was one time when I started a, my blog section on health and I was going to focus on analysing my healing process and so I, there's a search towards health if I can find search posts healthier communities oh are you really still in draft blog health blog oh okay I've got categories of health blog and health okay so there were 71 items when I filter for health and I don't know what order they're probably in chronological order going backwards so getting ready for phase two what on earth was that 2020 20, 11 oh, okay so if I go 13 weeks okay here's one so I want to view so maybe I can do a sh screen share just tell you what I'm doing Okay, that's when I still didn't have any headings. And what, what did I call it? The category was, where are the categories? Okay, I'm not even, I'm, okay, let me do the share screen and I'll show you what I'm really doing. Screen number two. I'll do the sound just in case there's anything I want to share on the sound. So, and let me move this on to the other screen. So this was my blog post, October 9, 2020, and I called it, okay, you don't see the headings on this format. I need to find a way to add the headings here. Oops, and another two weeks, 20 days since my last post. And somehow this got filtered into the, let me go back to the, yeah, okay, so, what I want to do is I filtered here for health and this was 13 weeks. So I went on the view and I'm going to open it in a new tab. So I'll go back to where I was just now, but I'm, I'm working on the tab. So this is the heading and it was called, this one was called 13 weeks. Hospital or transport. 827. Let me view this one. Again, in a new tab. And there's no photo there, but the format has got the photo automatically. And again, no headings. Christoph advised me to add headings in my in my blog post that it would help me. And here, uh, these are the ones coming up. Blog tip about me. I don't see where are my categories. Okay, so let me go back here. Step-by-step -step blog health view. So this was during my rehab after my knee opera, after my, must have been after my first rehab 
knee operation before the second one. Yeah, that's a bit of a story about my recovery. And at one stage, I was going to colour my health issues with, okay, this and this. All right, now, so this one I want to go back because I didn't press the new, new tab. End of the world, a new tab. Okay, Joseph coming to visit me at as I was yeah in quarantine. So a year ago, I was in St. Joseph by Helene near Salzburg on a health cure, having just retired from the IAEA. It was beautiful countryside and I was enjoying it through the window. Now, on the 20th of September, 2020, I'm in convalescence rehabilitation following my first knee surgery in Vienna, near the Vienna woods. I took out, I look out the window and appreciate the sunshine. My feelings of pain, weakness and vulnerability are very similar to that time last year, the time meaning when I finished work. I think I should be moving <laughs> and walking and enjoying the environment. I had uh, there was the four weeks I was there and I did not really walk that much. So I resigned myself to appreciating what I can do and not comparing myself with others. Of course I'd like to be more mobile. Of course I'd love to walk in the park. And yes, I'd love to sit in the sun, but you look at me now, I've got the camera on still. I've covered my face with makeup and it's my 12th day of the uh, skincare treatment for the, uh, in German, Actinische Keratose, which was diagnosed as precursor to skin cancer. And my skin therapist has prescribed a strong, this strong medication, which should aggressively strip those precancerous cells. And if that doesn't work, then she reckons I'll need to have them cut out, which no big news to me because my parents, my family, who are in Australia, or have already left us, have had skin cancers as well. And I've been living here in Austria over 30 years, but my first, first 30 years were in Australia. And as a child, I often got sunburned. So my video has been going 18 minutes and I just wanted to look at these things. Um, should I go through and what's the word, optimize my blog, see where my categories are found and figure out how to, what to really focus on. Three weeks post-op, let's look here. So this is me after my first operation. And I'm cycling and I honestly cycled a lot for a long time and then one day I stopped. So I need to tell myself to get up again and do it. All right. So this uh, Otto Wagner Spital, Pavilion 13, the acute geriatric remobilization, I wonder whether that still exists. I think that's already there. The, been building the new European University on that campus now and some of the buildings apparently still used by the hospital and Maria a friend of ours is now in uh, also in rehab in another building which is not a part of the hospital but it's also in Baumgartner her and there I'm reflecting on my time in rehab, which I really appreciated. And I've since made another application for a cure, 
and Katrin three years ago. Grant yourself all the time you need to heal, Katrin, Katrin, Katrin. Oh. Yes, so that takes me to the point of gratitude that I'm still here and how significant and important it is to appreciate what I have and the process. I was operated on the left knee and I took, I've got a photo uh, which I shared and Tony commented on, but it's probably not here. Yeah, here on the on the front, but there is there was one photo where you could really tell the one leg was quite crooked. <laughs> yeah. So I'm talking to myself and creating more digital clutter and I think I just need to light a candle and meditate and reflect and listen to my inner voice and focus on what I really, really want. Note to self. So where do I get to the end meeting? I can stop share, but where's the end me end? Here, end meeting.